South Korea and Egypt are building an agricultural city in the desert. Two unlikely partners are in a scientific collaboration that could see a desert turn green within the next half year. South Korea and Egypt are teaming up to build an agricultural city in the North African nation's Katara Depression sinkhole. The six-month, $10 billion project will see 50,000 greenhouses constructed by Egyptian workers and managed by Korean experts. Several solar and desalinization plants are expected to be built at the site. The project will also see an attempt to produce food and the sugar alternative Stevia. If the plan is successful, it could be seen as a model for future anti-desertification projects. Stay tuned for more desert projects, including the world's biggest plane. Yeah! Genius device harvests water from desert air. Certain parts of the world still lack access to safe water, but a new contraption made by a team from UC Berkeley and MIT might soon change that. The system consists of metal organic framework, or MOF crystals, pressed into a thin sheet and placed in a chamber between a solar absorber and a condenser plate. MOFs are a combination of organic and inorganic materials in a tightly packed matrix. Specific uses depend on the type of combination used. While some MOFs absorb gas, this particular one excels at absorbing water. The chamber is left open at night, allowing air to diffuse through the porous crystals and water to attach to its interior surface. During the day, sunlight heats up the water molecules in the MOF, turning them into vapor that then condenses and is collected below. When tested under the same conditions as arid and desert areas, the prototype managed to pull 2.8 liters of water over a 12-hour period. The device is a significant first step, but still holds much room for improvement. For now, the team is working on making it better, particularly in terms of efficiency and output. This could be the solution to world hunger. Researchers in Finland have successfully made food from electricity and carbon dioxide captured from the air. So could this new technology help feed the world? The food creating system uses a bioreactor, which contains water, microbes, and nutrients, such as nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. The electric current triggers electrolysis of the water, and with carbon dioxide captured from the air, the end result of the chemical reaction produces a powdery edible compound. The compound contains more than 50% protein, 25% carbohydrates, and the rest is fats and nucleic acids. The bioreactor can be set up anywhere with renewable energy, such as solar power or wind energy. No word on how this stuff tastes, but who cares when according to the UN, 795 million people are undernourished globally, and another 2 billion people are expected to join them by 2050. Maybe, just maybe, this could help. If this takes off, launch pads could be a thing of the past. This is the largest plane in the world, but it has yet to take flight, and it's not a passenger plane. So what exactly does it do? The Strato launch plane is comprised of two twin fuselages, massive wings, and is carried by six Boeing 747 engines. With its 117-meter wingspan, the aircraft is wider than a football field. It's designed to carry space-bound rockets, with a payload of up to 275 tons. The Strato launch commences takeoff with a rocket attached to its belly. With no payload, the plane weighs around 250 tons. With fuel and a fully loaded rocket, the plane can fly with a maximum takeoff weight of 650 tons. For scale, that's around the same weight as a commercial Airbus A380, carrying 550 passengers. The Strato launch is manned by a three-person crew in the right fuselage, including a pilot, co-pilot, and a flight engineer. The left fuselage cockpit is designed to remain empty and is unpressurized. The rocket is released after the plane reaches 35,000 feet. The rocket then fires its own engine and travels towards its orbit. The plane is designed for air rocket launches in low Earth orbit conditions to become a routine commute. The Strato launch is currently undergoing fuel tests and is expected to make its first launch in 2019.